ile ni be won o ni le loko esiku dede asiko yi hey guys it's aderonke again today i'd like to talk about another yoruba prayer and it's iwure or adura those are two words that are very synonymous with prayer iwure and adura and the prayer is kama toju alara orun kama toju alara orun kama toju ala rorun but still you could say au ni toju alara orun au ni toju alara orun and those who have watched the two previous videos would know why <laughs> i would prefer au ni toju alara orun the first one is may we not kama toju alara orun the second is we will not those are the first few words in the sentence for the first one is may we not for this one it's we will not so it's why i prefer this one because it very much aligns with the yoruba people's traditional way of praying in which we just say what we want and we say ashe we very much believe in manifestation kama toju alarorun what does that mean of course i'm going to give you word for word translations ka is a combination of two words and they are ki a ki a ki is may a is we ki can also be so that depending on the context if someone says kini adiron kenshi lori koni youtube which means what is why is ronke a member of youtube what what is she doing on youtube on the youtube platform someone can say someone else can say adironke wa lori ikoni youtube ki ale ko ede yoruba kale ko ede yoruba adironke wa lori ikoni kale ko ede yoruba adironke is on this platform ka so that we right ki a you could say ki ale ko ede yoruba or kale ko ede yoruba when you expand ka ki can be so that we can le can ko learn a de yoruba yoruba language so ki can also be so that depending on the context in this context in the prayer context ki often takes the um the form of may if you were to transliterate it to english or find the closest word it takes that form it's not so that because you're not saying this to explain something else you're saying this as a prayer so it's more like the may we it's more of the may anyway this is my point so may is the closest to it ki a may we moving ahead may we ma is not ma is not t t is from t is from depending on the context t can take another meaning if you're saying something else tioko for example e tioko yi e is you guys it means you're talking to more than one person it's plural e t is push t is push oko is car if you want to be more descriptive you could say oko jono but usually the kind of car that you can push would be the one that you can't really push the one on the sky if it's not working it will probably just it's the law of gravity will come falling down so you can't necessarily push it in the sky so obviously you know that it's the car that is often on the road right and it could be the one in water as well it could be a boat but if you say etsi okoi okoska yi is this one it's just placing emphasis on what you're talking about so this actual one that is not working well etsi okoi push the car in that statement t would be the verb and it would be push etsi oko push the car etsi push so here it's from it's different so it always depends on the context you will come to know that many yoruba words would have two three several meanings so you might be thinking how does if this word means something how come it's being used in this context does it make sense just know that unlike several other languages 
there might be a word with the same tonal mark, with the same pronunciation, the same everything, but would have more than one meaning and can be applicable to different contexts. So, oju is the I, for example. I've, this is another example of search words. Oju is I. If you've seen my video on body parts, you come to know that. You would know that already. Oju is I. It could also be the face in general. Oju. Oju me. Oju me. Oju. Oju me. She was shubai. My face is. I don't know. My face doesn't look so so bright. You know. Oju can be the face in general. It could be the point of something. The height of it. You know. The height of it. The state of being in the height of something. At the point of something. Let's say someone. Let's say you say. Oju oru lowa. Oju oru is sleep. Oju oru. The person is you know really <laughs> at the height of sleep like they're not just resting you know they really are sleeping so it could be the height it could be the point depending on the context Allah is dream Allah is dream Ronu is a combination of two words Re Oru Re Oru Re is go to Re is the verb it means go to Re is go to Oru is it's very synonymous with heaven, right? It's Oru is essentially where the soul is from. Where the soul is from. Now, the full word is Oriru. Oriru, right? Oriru. When it is contracted a bit, it will be Oru, which people have come to describe as heaven, but in and of itself doesn't necessarily see anything about heaven just essentially says where the soul is from where something is from a similar word is orisu a similar word is orisu and these words sort of connote root right especially orino connotes root right origin orisu connotes source like the fountain of something orisu if, if you call someone, if you nickname someone, Orisu Eri, you know, the source of my laughter, or Orisu, that would be Orisu Erini, you know, if that's the pet name that you give someone, or the nickname, you're saying the person is the source of your laughter. If you say Orisu Ayomi, people would often use this pet name for God, you know, or whatever deity that they worship, whatever, apart from Iledu Mari, you know. Orisuayo, the source of joy. Ayo's joy. Orisuayo, don't know. The source of happiness. So Orisu is essentially source. The giver of something. Orisu is the parent word for Oshu. Orisu is the parent word for Oshu. And Oshu is like a, like a source. It's, you, you kind of imagine the, a fountain. or what, How do I describe this? And when you think of the word, you think of uh, something that oozes something. You know, it's more associated with water when you say oozes. Something that produces something. Something that gives something. The source of something, right? Could be the source of health, the source of waters, the source of... whatever In whatever context that you intend to use orisu, you, know, you essentially are saying source. Oru is not in and of itself heaven. If you do call heaven Oru, if you do call Oru heaven, you are correct. You are not wrong. You are correct. However, when you simplify the concepts of heaven and L, there's a problem. <laughs> we Yoruba people don't have this linear extremely restricted view of the world in which you believe that okay apart from this sphere that is earth and apart from whatever other planets exist there's this one place called heaven and it's where people go and when they get there they are streets of gold and they sing and you're, you're either there or you're in hell and you're burning and you're crying that is extremely linear it's it's oversimplified i guess when people don't really know so much you know about what is beyond 
what they can see with your physical eyes, they tend to oversimplify. So the concepts of heaven and hell have been simplified so much that a distorted impression of it all is given, especially the concepts of heaven. We are not just from like we have soul groups, right? And it's very synonymous to the Yoruba people's egg. We have soul groups. We have galaxies that we're from not even necessarily the galaxies we have spheres realities that our spirits are from they may come to this earth and they have to exist in a physical body but we are from different parts of the universe the universe is such a large place it's not just oh heaven hell and earth and maybe the planets with nobody in it you know we are everywhere so our is not necessarily heaven we don't have that you know biblical hell you know i think that came later on in history your soul could either be hanging somewhere you know and when christians call hell when you combine oru which is what they would describe as heaven thank you samuel ajayi crowder for the confusion when you combine heaven which is oru and hell, what they would call hell, in and of itself, a body doesn't necessarily mean hell. When you combine that, you say heaven, hell, heaven is hell. Like, do, does that even make sense to you? That obviously doesn't make any sense. A body is like a place where, um, I, I guess, s bad souls go. Like, you have to have done something as a spirit, you know, to keep you there. I would have to study more on it because I am trying. I'm tr trying not to get distracted by the biblical hell in comparison to Akbadi. So I'll get back to you on that. Probably make a separate video on that. But it's still not hell. It's still not. It's still not. It doesn't even have anything to do with fire or anything to do with fiery furnaces. Or no, 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 no. We're absolutely. We have an absolutely different and probably more hope and probably more comprehensive view. So Aru is not just, oh, heaven, one linear place where people go. It's just a very large piece of land that people are just there singing. Does that even make sense? I'm sorry, but does that even make sense to you? Do you think that that would be all? That would be the purpose of coming here just to get back to heaven and sing. And there's not just one heaven. We've all walked streets of gold in different realms. Like the streets of gold shouldn't be this thing that you have to aspire to. You've done that. You've been there. You've done that. But you've been sent to earth to, imp to experience. It's like a, it's like a playgroundish school to experience here, but to contribute to it before you return. It's like you do being the messenger of sorts. You come here, you do your part, you experience it all and you go back. And if you do have to come back to this realm to do something different at whatever time that you're scheduled to come, you will. So it's not just, oh, hell, you do everything, you good all the things, good things that you can, just so that you can go and live in a mansion that you already lived on on earth. Does that make sense? And sing. No. So I will get back to you on on, uh, but essentially just think of it as, a galaxy, a sphere, a realm, a, a reality that you are from. Don't think, don't restrict yourself to, oh, this one place with streets of gold. There are streets of gold everywhere. Stop it. It's not necessarily like, what is gold? Gold is this. When you even say streets of gold as something that, you know, you are to aspire to, gold is an earthly element. And it's in other realms as well. But our gold is of a lower quality because, again, this is a denser planet. So when you say gold and you say, oh, streets of gold, I love gold. That, and you're associating that with things of, of spirit, then it doesn't make sense. Think about it. And I said I prefer to say we will not instead of may we not. So let's do the we will not. Again, I'm doing both just because some people may not like to say I will. Like the way they've been brought up is this may we, may we. So they are not i mean both are correct you could say both and you would be correct your prayers will still be answered but we will not you know it's more powerful it's it aligns much more with the yoruba people's concept of manifestation and the concept of ashe 
a o ni to ju ala rorun a o a is we a is we o is not it negates within a sentence o is not ni is will a o ni we will not t is from c is from oju is the face of the height of the point of ala is dream rorun combination of two words re is go to oru is where the soul is from and what does it mean when you say the first one kama to jwala rorun may we not from the point of dream go or return to where the soul is from may we not transition from the dream state if you say aoni is the same thing we will not we will not this time from the point of dream go or return to where our soul is from the first one was may we not transition from the dream state this is we will not transition from the dream state and like i said in the second video on prayers when we are asleep right our souls can visit different realms we can be in several different places however we still come back to our bodies 100% our bodies need the rest our souls don't we don't necessarily we it doesn't necessarily the so i'm not talking about oh just your spirit being dampened or you know just your emotions this still have to do with this are still related to the body those things are still with, oh rest oh my emotions oh i'm sad oh, they don't necessarily have anything to do with the soul as a whole you know as a this giant being that is greater than just the physical frame so your soul can visit def several different places and of course when you come back to your body you may not necessarily remember those places just because your brain cannot simply process it plus your brain hasn't been there it is your soul that has been there not necessarily your physical human brain so that is why you would not remember however it would be really sad if you just decided to take a nap and you found out that you suddenly returned to where your soul is from and you're seeing your spirit and you're like i'm not done with this incarnation can someone fill me in what's going on you know of course that cannot happen you cannot be sent home faster than you were scheduled to that's simply impossible but it's still a prayer that we pray anyway that from our dream states may we not transition especially because we're not ready to at the time but in reality with the way that things work you can't really return if you if like if it wasn't already there's this concept of predestination that we yoruba people believe in in which and i think it's when the when we yoruba people want to check we check through a process called akose jaye akose jaye in which when a child is born we sort of look at oh okay this is who they are this is the kind of person that they will be we don't necessarily look oh this is the kind of soul that they are and in whatever galaxy that they are from this is the position that they have we may briefly but the focus is on why they are here and many people don't do a course jaya anymore funny enough but you know it's within the first i guess most people are christians or muslims now within the first spirituality they check oh this person is here to be a farmer and if you try to force them to be a medical doctor you will be wasting your time the better you schedule them with like an older farmer to train them the better and this is what they are going to do and this would be the cause of the, they may even touch on the, what the cause of their death would be and it, it, there are ways to avoid that you know there are ways to balance that so to speak to prevent early deaths from them anyway so they'll say oh the very probable causes of early death from them would be letting them spend too long in the river unsupervised so of course the mother would know uh, nah until you're 25 i'm not letting you go to a stream by yourself unsupervised hell no just because they had been told when the child was like a few days old or something so we don't necessarily like we can't we believe in predestination is essentially my point so and the same thing as 
as is on earth so as is above i mean still below so you can't necessarily die if it's not your time to if you die it's because you've been scheduled to however if <laughs> okay if your if your soul group is trying to get you back home because you've essentially done and it it's it very much you can even stay longer than you were supposed to which is very funny in the cases of the abiku the children that we believe they just come to earth they by their their soul group doesn't necessarily like to spend too much time on this planet earth so when they come they just spend a bit of time with their parents and they die and then they may decide to come again and they get pampered and everything and they die again they return back to the realm that they are from again that's why i said when you, you're just thinking of earth as heaven and hell you're making a big mistake they return back to their realm again so but we Yoruba people kind of know about this set this soul group this set of spirits that have in, in many incarnations of course so when they come we will do certain things you know still relates to spirituality to make them stay and how will you know that it is the child that died that came back again you if you if the child had a particular bad mark or you made a certain incision on the child's skin or something you see that exact mark so you say okay how come you have this bad mark or how come you have this if you were not the previous child like it, it may not make sense logically but you have to see it to really know so they may they may be allowed to even stay longer than was scheduled through spiritual means so i don't necessarily believe that if one dies it's because oh, oh yes uh you can well i can't really say like with the universe you can't necessarily really say that. it's quite possible that a person can die before they were scheduled but it would have to be from like higher up it wouldn't be just a fellow human trying to kill you before it's your time it would have to be whether god or your soul group trying to bring you back just because they feel that you simply can't continue you simply can't like your soul isn't it your physical body and your emotions your spirit is tired your soul as a whole can't be tired because it's such a bigger phenomenon but your spirit your body your you're pretty much done with the, then they can bring you home maybe a few years before you were scheduled to return home to what we would call die it's a scary word to it's not scary in reality and they bring you back and they take care of you you know and if you want to have a human incarnation again they sort of take you to a different better sphere where you'd be able to complete that, but usually if you're going to have a hard life and you're good you would have been told in spirit before you know and you would have been told the functions that you are to serve so may we not and we will not from the state of our dream go back to where we are from especially like it's like telling your soul group i will not like i don't want to come back home like at this time i have things to do on earth please and thank you so I would not tran transition from the dream state. I'm just sleeping. I'm not coming. I'm not coming back home. You know, just, I'm here. I mean, even if you don't like it on earth so much, like you know that it's going to be over some, but you ha still have things to do. So you say, I will not from the point of my dream or from the point of my astral travel or Allah would also relate it or from the point of my being told things from you know from spirit in my dream state whatever i will not transition to you guys to where my soul is from to my original home from the dream state i just want to sleep i'm not dying yet it's a prayer but it's also like a it's almost like a manifestation you know i don't want to thank you please and uh, thank you <laughs> so uh if you have any questions whatsoever don't hesitate to ask please share my videos if you'd like to and leave comments and subscribe if you haven't yet 
and thank you for your support please continue to support my channel and if you'd like to support my channel please do i really really appreciate every single help that i've gotten so far thank you so so much i cannot thank you enough and i'll see you in the next video have a good week have a good day and goodbye Thank you.